That's right. Avenatti arrested today on charges that he conspired to commit extortion against Nike. Avenatti allegedly threatened Nike that he would go public with claims the company was paying high school basketball players. He wanted one and a half million dollars for his client and another 20 million dollars for himself. His client is an AAU coach whose team was sponsored by Nike but lost that sponsorship. Avenatti tweeted at 12.16 p.m. today that he was going to hold a press conference tomorrow. But then 14 minutes later, he was arrested in midtown Manhattan. A lot of the events that happened, they actually took place just last week as Avenatti wanted to time his press conference around Nike's earnings and the NCAA basketball tournament. The FBI recorded some of his phone calls and meetings and detailed some of his specific threats against Nike in the complaint that just got released. All of this coming just as federal authorities in Los Angeles charging him today with money laundering and wire fraud, wire fraud in part because he received a $1.6 million settlement on behalf of a client that he didn't transfer that money back to that client. So he's wow. having an interesting Monday. Wow. Uh, Eric, stay right there. Michelle Cruz Cabrera has also been digging through this. And I, I, again, he asked for a million and a half dollars from Nike for his clients, 20 million for himself. Is that what then triggered the wiretaps and all of this? Yeah, so he wanted one and a half million, as Eric talked about, for this AAU coach. And then he claimed he was going to conduct an internal investigation about this on behalf of, you know, for the benefit of Nike. Hmm. And for that, he should get paid in advance these millions of dollars. And that's that's what kind of triggered all of this. Or um, he would take twenty two and a half million exactly. as a confidentiality agreement and then they wouldn't bother with the investigation. Wow. What's particularly interesting about this is the behind the scenes of a scandal. So Avenatti has been involved in a lot of these things, right? Stormy Daniels, etc. And he recounts that this is all on tape, alleged, uh, supposedly. He says to the lawyers, listen, let me tell you how this is going to go down. We're going to go public. And then we're going to get thousands and thousands of phone calls from parents across the country. And 90% of it's going to be BS. But 10% of it's going to be real. And we're going to take that to the Washington Post. And we're going to take that to the New York Times. And we're going to go to ESPN. And we're going to hold news conferences. And the company is going to suffer cut after cut after cut. That's how it's going to go down. So here's the fascinating question. Is Michael Avenatti, in a way, is a distraction, Eric, from, I mean, obviously he's part of this, but he's also, in a way, a distraction. Is, the, is there a core issue of, about his claims that is actually a problem well, for that, Nike when we saw the, the shares? We there? all know that kids are getting paid. We know that Nike sponsored AAU teams. We know that college kids get paid. And when they're a college freshman, that means there's probably money coming to them at the high school ranks. So there's certainly some smoke, fire, all that going on here. It's just interesting to me. If Nike is doing these things, do they need the federal government to help them out if they really are paying high school athletes? Because it is going to come out. Like he says, he may not be 100% lying. He may have gone about this the wrong way. But we know for a fact shoe companies pay kids, and that may be the bigger issue here. I mean, it's in print that he's saying that they have evidence that they were paying high schoolers and high school uh, schoolers' family members. I think at minimum, Nike's going to have to say something about that. And this press conference was supposed to be tomorrow, uh, as you say. Or he, he was tweeted. trying to do it last week, and then I think he waited to see maybe they would play ball with him, and he actually get, gets this so money. So now there's presumably not a press conference to be had. So we're now left with the focus on Michael Avenatti, the charges against Michael Avenatti, but his claims against Nike. What what follows up on them now? To your point, Michelle, about the company maybe having to address this. Well, what forces the point. issue? Yeah, I, I I don't know. I mean, I assume they've got lawyers involved. Clearly, already from the indictment, yeah. they had lawyers involved. Just said a few million, million dollars, dollars doesn't move the needle for them. The the AAU coaching fraternity and the shoe companies has been an unholy one for a long time. There have been college coaches, as we all know, who have gone to jail. Uh, for um, and or lost their jobs because of relationships that they had with other shoe companies. Mm -hmm. Right. So we know it's happened in college. The LSU coach, they're in the Sweet 16. Their coach and is their coach is suspended. not there. So we know it's part of reality. And I think what happened was the AAU coach lost his sponsorship. I think he didn't like it. And he said, all right, I'm going to get something out of this because I know they're paying athletes. Let me see if I can get something. Here. Wow. Right. The Ni Nike indictment's only 12 pages. I highly recommend everybody read it. The other one about money laundering, super long. Um, that's the California case. That's the that's California, California case, case. Yeah. He has had lots of financial issues, Avenatti, hasn't he, with disputes with his with his uh, partners. Yeah, and I so think forth. they were talking about him being under duress, and now this. Yeah. All righty.